Hello everybody and welcome back to a spectacular episode of Avo Gaming. Today we are playing Gunmongers. This is a game that is developed by a company called Size 5 Games. I hope that's correct. <clears throat> and before we start on the video I've just got to say a big thanks to Dan Marshall. He is one of the developers at Size 5 Games. Gotta hope that's right. <laughs> and so yeah, I've got to say a big thanks to him because he actually sent me the code for this game and obviously he supports YouTubers and especially small channels like mine which obviously mine is very small, I mean I'm not really getting that many views but he's supporting it by sending me a code for this game so a big thanks to him so already the developing side of this game gets a 10 out of 10 for me for being like that so, Gun Monkeys, uh, in my eyes, it's a 1v1 crazy monkey killing game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've had a quick play, I've had 5 games so far, uh, 5 deaths, 10 kills, 80% win percentage, so I've won 4 out of 5, and I've got a bit of money. So, more on that. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press play game, and then server 1 a little busy. Hmm. Right, so these are my servers, uh, well, the servers on the game. You've got all your actual, like, group servers so all the groups and communities that you're in on steam will then appear there I'm not 100% sure why but I mean if you're in a group like if you're in the actual gun monkeys group I'm supposed there will be a lot of people there a lot of people there rather so I'm just going to go on server 1 to say a little busy and then the problem that I found so far is the networking isn't at its best but the developer has already said that they are actually working on that and basically what it is a few names will actually pop up here and then you just double click them and automatically challenges them. So I'm just going to keep switching through some of the servers and I will be back when I find a game. Right, we are back with a game. Hopefully if this guy accepts a challenge which he has. So right, basically what this is, it's a one versus one platform game where your objective is to get the other person's score down to zero. So, we've got a normal shoot. Oh, I accidentally placed a bomb there, I didn't mean to do that. So, right, you can shoot, you can double jump. I kind of got to concentrate and do this at the same time. Might be a bit you can plant bombs, which do that. And, yeah, so the only per the only way to get the other person to score down, which for some reason mine is really low, is by collecting them blue little things that I've just picked up, blue little like cubes. And basically getting him into your side which then negates his score down a little bit and it looks like he's got stuck but he's managed to kill me as well so there's that way and just gotta wait to respawn and then the other way is obviously kill him so there's like two ways to get his score down from what I've known not 100% sure on that they're the only ones that I figured out, and they don't really tell you much on the tutorial. They just tell you that, actually. Ah, oh, this is going to be an easy game because he's stuck. Apart from he's just killed himself, so now nah, game on. This gun <coughs> shoots bullets in a three way spread, just like how gun upgrades used to be back in the good old days. So it's, it's quite a simple game, to be fair, but it's just it's so groovy, and of course, you're playing monkeys. I mean, what's wrong? What's wrong with monkeys? Nothing's wrong with monkeys. <laughs> it's quite. It's quite hard to talk and concentrate on this game. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Ah, die. Oh, killed him. So uh, I don't think your health regenerates, which is it's a good thing. Kind of got like the old technique to it. And I've just picked up a big nuke. Oh god! Can you control that? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that, that were a nuke, so basically there is weapon drops that drop as well. And looks like I'm going to win this game actually really easy. Yeah. So, what happens when you win? I know, I may have sounded a bit boring there actually in that game. As I was trying to concentrate. So, what happens when you win is you get money. And with this money, I will show to you. Uh, you go into my team and you can buy yourself a little boost. Also, you can change what your character looks like. Or what colour your monkey is. Wow. Oh. I did, I did make pink. Oh, pink. Look at that. Yeah, that's pink. And I'll change that to. Yeah, to red. Yeah. 
yeah, well, there we go, pink and yellow. So these boosts slightly increase like your weapon drop. So them little question mark boxes that were picking up, they was actually weapon drops, which the little blue cubes have a chance to turn into them, I believe. And the reason why my game is played seven is because I just skipped a game from the recording because my joypad didn't work. It wasn't really fair. So the reason why I haven't got any of these yet is because I'm saving up for the health boost, which it just costs ten thousand dollars. It's going to take a while, so let me just get into another game. Our oh, demon killers challenged me. So I mean, it it didn't take too long to get into a match. It was probably about a minute by the time I saw someone, but I mean, it's all working now. <clears throat> and let's go again. So let's try and hit them. Let's have him. That was a nice early kill. Look at that. Uh, you, you don't tend to last very long. Um, the matches don't actually go on for very long, which to me is actually a good thing. I mean, quick death matches. Nothing wrong with that. Let's just hammer him again. And this guy, I don't think he has a clue what he's doing. Uh, he should do the tutorial. The tutorial, if you do the tutorial, actually does really help a lot. So it's worth doing. So pick up that. I've got a homing missile. So if I fire these, look, they'll actually home in. They bounce. Yeah, this guy clearly doesn't have a clue on what he's doing, I don't think. I bless him. It's just. Let's, let's win by a kill. Oh no, he's quit the match. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, we'll fit another one into this. So, like I said, the way to win, we'll challenge him again, see if he wants to accept. Probably not. <coughs> so, yeah, the way to win this game is to get their score to zero. The only way is from killing them, collecting your cubes which put your score up and also negates their score. <coughs> and I've got something stuck in my throat here, which is quite annoying. No, I mean it is actually a really good game. I think it's like just over six pounds, so that's obviously pounds. And oops, it's a little bit. But like I say, there, there is some bits which are a bit buggy, I mean like that fella that got stalk and there's certain little bits which are a bit buggy, but like I said earlier, the developer is working on him. He said that he's working on him. And I think he just income challenged me there, didn't he? And I didn't click it. <coughs> so yeah, he's already come out, he said he's working on him, which is good. I mean, some developers take a while and then like finally do a patch later on, but at least he's saying, yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, let's, let's try this guy, I think this is a guy that we're going to get to earlier on, so accept that, move the mouse out of my way. Uh, it has got joypad support, so hooray for that. Nice joypad support, everyone loves a bit of joypad support. I've just planted a bomb, I didn't mean to. And also then, I was running across the bombs and he just killed me, damn it. Uh, you get usually about minus 30 odd points, I think, for a death, which is pretty bad. I mean, pretty bad for my behalf, because I lost out on it. Um, he's suicidal for running down into me there. I'm just going to claim some points. So basically the easiest way to win is actually by collecting the cubes. If you collect three cubes... What am I going to get away? Yeah. Oh, I planted a bomb. So yeah, if you collect three cubes you do get a lot more points than what you would if you only collected like two cubes and one cube. But I mean, they've got physics so they bounce around and whatnot. He's got free Oh, he's planted a bomb, kill me with a bomb. Uh, bombs tend to kill you in one hit, and they do do that. Oh, God. This guy is pretty good at this. It does take a while to respawn as well, but you can for your little things. They're in slow mo. Oh, oh, I've got stuck. See, there is little bits like that as well where you get stuck, but. Hopefully it'll get sorted out, but I mean, it is a really fun game. I've lost this one really bad. This was really bad, actually. <sighs> I don't think I've been able to do much, but you get quite a bit of money. <clears throat> but, I mean, game-wise, the game is actually really fun. Apart from the bugs, but like I said, he is, he is working on him. So we can only hope that he does get him good. <laughs> Well, let's hope so anyway, but I mean it is really fun. Like I say, it does support controller, so it's controller and keyboard, although I wasn't really too fond on playing it on the keyboard. And resolution, some nice resolutions going off on it. Some graphics, fantastic. Lighting quality, low. That should not be on there. <laughs> okay. 
And also, if you're not too keen on, say, like the glow effects and all that, because I know I have read a few uh, like forums on it, and they were saying that the glow was too strong, but there's a little slide here. You could turn it completely off. So don't let any of that put you off. And I believe that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So I'm hoping that recorded perfect, because I had to skip some, well, the first game, because it didn't work for my joypad. I think my joypad got disconnected, actually, because I had to reconnect it. So, I hope you have enjoyed the episode guys, uh, thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, favourite, comment and also buy this game. More people are welcome, for me anyway. <laughs> I mean, I, I, want, I want to kill some of you guys, give me a chance please, although I'm not too good myself. Uh, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed guys, and of course, as always, I will catch you next time. Good monkeys everybody, remember it, it's cheap. <laughs>